Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome. Today we will talk about five stages of leadership. Uh, let us first define leadership. The simple definition of leadership is influence. The activity of influencing people to follow you so that something of mutual benefit is accomplished. Now, everything, failure or success of that mission depends on leadership. Let us start with stage one of, of leadership. And this is position level. We all start with position level. This is a title you are given when you are given a position. For example, you are appointed a manager, um, probably you are elected an MP, and you are appointed managing director, you know, you are appointed a board chair. We all start from somewhere. The key word here is right, you know, title comes with rights. I have the right, so you have to listen and follow what I have to say. This is what, you know, position level leadership asks for. I have a title, I have an office, so you are obliged to follow what I tell you. People follow you because they have to. You see, if you are a manager, uh, those who are working under you will have the responsibility to follow your directives. They have no choice. Level one leaders are called bosses, or put it in a different way, they like to be called bosses because they don't have a team member. They don't have team members, but they have subordinates, you know, come here, do this. Where are you? What are you doing? These are questions bosses ask their, their subordinates, you see? When they ask you in this kind of questions, they expect you to respond by saying, sorry boss, this happened, you know, I couldn't do this. This is the problem with level one, you know, leadership. These, these bosses ask questions that ordinary team members, if you are a team member, you wouldn't put those questions that way. You see, they rely on rules, policies, and organizational chat, you know, hierarchies. You say, uh, follow the orders, do this, do that, you see. On the other hand, the followers have no choice. Literally, they have no choice because two things depend on, 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 on their bosses. First, their salaries. You see, if they don't follow what the bosses are saying, they could lose out in the, you know, at the end of the month. This, this, this is the main problem the followers have. You see, position or level one needers never need ability or effort to achieve or get that position. Anyone can be appointed to that position, you see. It doesn't take a lot of effort to be on level one or, you know, stage one leadership position. But the good thing is you have an opportunity to shape and define your leadership. Very straightforward. You have, once you are on stage one or level one, you have an opportunity to define and shape your leadership. You have to get over, get out of your cocoon or comfort zone. You have to establish, you have to define, you have to show your vision to the followers, to your followers. 
get out of your comfort zone. That is the key word here. Now, there is another downside to position leadership. Lack of effort, time, or energy from your followers. People who follow you in, on stage one leadership, normally they wouldn't give you, you know, their time. They wouldn't put more effort and they will not give you your, their, their energy because they cannot see anything good coming out of the bosses who behave the way they do. Come here, do this, find out this, you know? You can always tell level one leadership organizations, companies or businesses, you can't. If you go around, even in, in, in any kind of management setup, level one businesses, people behave in that environment are the same. People come in around nine o'clock. You know, no one will come in earlier than nine because their working hours is from nine to five. So they will find excuses to come at nine thirty. You'll find, why did you come late? They'll tell you, you know, boss, this has happened. You know, there was traffic. It was raining. It was doing this. Something went off. You know, something was not okay. Excuse after excuse. So they settled to do their work ten o'clock. In between 10 and the lunchtime, there is something going on in the office or in the work environment. Someone is telling a story, someone is giving, you know, a description of something that is funny. There is no, you know, quality input in the work. Let's, let's say, you know, finishing time is 5 o'clock. By 4 o'clock, everyone is ready to go home. You know, they are telling their friends and peers, you know, have a nice evening. You know, we have done a good job today. But literally nothing happened. People were just walking around, walking around. Customers call at four o'clock. They are told, you know, it's, it's almost closing time. Can you try tomorrow morning, nine o'clock, please? You know, this, these are the behaviors of level one organizations. You see? People are wondering, why? Why is this kind of thing happening? Because position leaders, most of the time, are wondering what they can do to get their, the best out of their workforce. You have to realize that the only reason why people are following you is because you have a title and their pay depends, depends on you. Without title, and pay, no one will be following you. Now, position level leaders have an opportunity, as I said earlier, to shape their leadership. How? They have to start. You have to start building relationships. Without relationship, you come in, you don't know what, what your followers have been up to the previous night, yesterday. You don't ask how they are. You see, you don't listen, you don't learn anything. Now, one thing you can do is to listen. Listen to what they have to tell you. They come and tell you, boss, this is what is happening in the outside environment. Probably you are not aware. And then you say, no, 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 I know those things. Forget about it. You see, you have no connection with them. You have no relationship with them. How, how do you expect to bring a change to that organization? Now, key number one is listen. Number two is learn. Number three is take action. What do you learn? Once you learn, there's this problem in the organization. Just take action. Now, let's move to stage two. Stage two leadership is permission level. The key word here is permission. People want to follow you because they want to. It is their choice. They just want to follow you. There is a big difference between following someone because you have to and following a leader because you want to. In this level, you have connected with people. And this means they like you and you like them. It is surprising to find that some leaders in position one leadership position don't know that their followers don't like them because they are not likable. People don't care for them. It is really tough 
being in the business of people, people business. You are doing people business. You are in a relationship business and not having someone or people like you is really, really tough. I know you know someone who is a position leader and who is not likable. There are so many across the board. Sometimes I want to sit down with some of them and tell them, my friends, people don't really like you. Relationship with the people is the foundation of leadership. If you do not have good relation with people, starting with your family, your friends, the people who follow you, if you don't have any relationship with them, you don't care about them, you are just there to be served, my friend, you are going to have a tough time in leadership. It is a difficult task to influence somebody who does not like you. It is not easy. You know that, you know. In stage two, you begin to develop three skills. You develop three key skills. As we mentioned earlier in stage one, you develop listening skills, you develop observation skills, you develop learning skills. These skills make you conscious of where your people are at any particular time. You observe, you see where they are, you listen, you learn, and you take action. You need to develop an attitude of servanthood. This is key. You are not in leadership position so that you can be served. You are there to solve people's problems. There are challenges in every society. So when you take up a leadership position, either in business or in society or in politics, you are there to resolve issues on a day-to-day basis. If you cannot develop relationship with people, you will have tough time. We'll continue with stage three, four, and five in the next video. Please subscribe, like, and comment if you have any question regarding this or any other topic. Thank you for watching.